What's going on everyone? Sean here from Crypto and Cause Investing back with another episode of this past week in crypto today. But let's go ahead and hop on over to coinmarketcap.com and check out the numbers for this past week. So our current market cap is 2.06 trillion. So we are still holding over that 2 trillion market cap. The 24 hour volume for crypto is at 93.8 billion. Our BTC dominance is at 53.5% with an ETH dominance at 17.4%. Now pay attention to this fear and greed. We're currently at a 36 out of 100, extremely low. I haven't seen that number that low in a very long time. Don't remember the exact time, but it's been months and months since I've seen a number that low. Now hopping on over, checking out some of our favorite cryptos. So shout out to some people that are recommending more things for me to add to this list. I went ahead and added Shiba Inu and Pepe per some requests from some of the listeners. Now, as you can see this past week, seven days, everything is red. Some of them down extremely bad. So we have Bitcoin down 11% on the seven day mark, going all the way back down to that 55K. Ethereum down 14% on that seven day mark, just shy of 3,000. BNB Overall, holding strong right above 500. It did dip down into the fours. I want to say I saw as low as 464. Down again, 13%. So we definitely have a trend here with that 11, 13, 14%. Solana is holding up pretty good. They're about half of everyone else at 136 price right now, down 7.75% on the seven day mark. Dogecoin being pretty much the highest out of the ones I've just said. They're all the way down to 10 cents, down 15%. Shiba Inu, new into the list. They're down just 7%, so holding strong with Solana right there. Then we have Pepe, also new to the list, down the biggest of the entire list at 23%. Kronos down to that 8 cents at 8 0.80%. Now there's not tons of good news or news articles to cover. Again, everything is really bearish right now, but I did want to hit on some news articles that kind of give some advice, I guess you can say, not financial advice, but kind of just give some ways that different people do things and what to follow when you're looking at different things in the market, especially when the market looks like this. Remember, of course, can't say it enough, never financial advice, but like Warren Buffett says, when everyone else is being fearful, you be greedy. When everyone else is being greedy, you be fearful. So if there are particular things that you like, be it Bitcoin or Pepe or Shiba Inu, this is the time to consider at looking, loading up, because again, there's only a matter of time before we get going in that upwards trend. Let's go ahead and check out some of the news articles from this past week in crypto. So most of the news articles we're going to be checking out today are what some of the whales in the space are doing. So as people know, when we're dealing with cryptos, a lot of them don't have any inherent value. Of course, you have your cake from PancakeSwap or Uniswap tokens and stuff like that that actually give real value to the space because people are always using those exchanges billions of dollars flowing through it and different things like that. So tokens and investments like that actually do carry value, but the vast majority do not carry any inherent value. It's just buying and selling, that's what makes the price move. So a lot of times when I'm looking for different investments, tracking what the whales are doing is a huge advantage to understanding the market and seeing where the money is moving. So as we can see right here, crypto whales quietly accumulate lesser known Pepe competitor. Obviously, everyone knows Pepe. Behind Dogecoin, behind Shiba Inu, it's one of the biggest meme coins the last year or two and probably will continue to be so moving into that meme market. But we do have another one to look at, which is very similar to Pepe and a lot of the whale money is moving in that direction. So again, it's worth pointing out. So crypto whales have been quietly accumulating a lesser known competitor to Pepe coin, potentially sparking renewed interest in a resurgence of Pepe. This new competitor is called Pepe Unchained. It's not just a Pepe copycat coin, it's a new Ethereum layer 2 blockchain. For anyone that does follow the market, when a new blockchain is introduced, it typically does have that opportunity to absolutely explode. And now with this, it also has that Pepe name behind it on top of following that whale money that's getting involved with it. So a tweet from Pepe Unchained, something big is loading. Pepe's own blockchain is coming soon. Stay tuned for the revolution. I'll go ahead and link this article along with the rest of them down below. Keep in mind, I am not getting paid to promote Pepe Unchained. I'm simply reporting the news and kind of giving some information on what the whales in the market are doing. 
So following in that same trend of the previous article, Crypto Whale moves funds to new meme coins. Could it surpass Dogecoin? Again, remember, not being paid for these, just simply reporting the news and seeing where that whale money is going. The meme coin market is experiencing a resurgence with trading volume jumping 9% recently, which the volume did kind of jump in the meme market in particular, which we will touch on at the end of this video. This renewed interest has investors eagerly sniffing out the next big gainer, leading many to projects on the rapidly growing base chain for those that don't know what base chain is it is an ethereum layer 2 chain owned by coinbase and in my opinion remember my opinion alone this will be the blockchain of the next bull run over bsc over ethereum over solana over all of them as it is basically just ethereum with cheap gas fees I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on that chain. So stay tuned. You follow my channel, you follow our projects, you follow anything like that. Stay tuned and we'll be making some announcements and some big announcements about what's going on with Base Chain. One such project is Base Dogs, a Shiba Inu inspired meme coin that has rapidly gained traction, attracting over 2.33 million in pre sale investments in less than a month. Again, I'll go ahead and link this. Go check out Base Dogs if you're interested along with Pepping Unchained, they really do look like two interesting projects that listeners may be interested in getting involved in. So again, following in that trend of what the whales are doing and also what the more popular people in the whole crypto and stock market space are doing. So GameStop icon Warren Kitty purchases 6.6% of Chewy shares. So again, following whales, following people like Warren Kitty, when typically when they do something and people see them doing, there's a huge wave to follow. So meme trader Keith Gill, popularly known for his role in the GameStop trading frenzy, has disclosed owning a 6.6% stake in Chewy, according to a recent fine with the United States Security and Exchange Commissions. So just coming on down, you can go ahead and check out this article, which again, I will link everything you need in the description down below. And remember, never giving financial advice, just kind of giving you the way I see crypto and the things that I do. And following big money and following the most popular people in the space typically leads to good things so go ahead and check out this along with all of the rest of the articles with where the whales are going so we do have a little decent good news i guess you can say breaking robin hood considers launching crypto futures in us and europe personally not a fan of robin hood at all don't use it never will use it but it is a big name in the crypto in the stock market space so anything they do something like launching futures that will be a big time deal for crypto as a lot of people don't want to send funds over to wallets and different things like that they just want to hop on an exchange and buy it so cryptocurrency trading platform robin has reportedly considered listing crypto futures in the us and europe according to a bloomberg report the platform aims to introduce futures trading in the coming months this ambitious plan involves leveraging the license acquired from its 200 million purchase of bitstamp crypto exchange which is expected to close next year so definitely keep an eye on this as is if this goes through it is actually a pretty big deal whether you like robin hood or not which again i don't like it i don't use it i'm not endorsing it i'm not linking it anything like that just like to point out that this is pretty big news hopefully we see it go through so lastly we're going to go ahead and check out those numbers on what exactly the DeFi and the meme market is doing. So over in DeFi, we have a market cap of 85.7 billion, trading volume up huge 37%, up to 5.9 billion. Keep in mind, DeFi and memes are kind of separate from that blue chip market with your Bitcoins and everything we went over in the beginning. Usually just because that market is doing bad doesn't necessarily mean there isn't volume in that meme space because there a lot of times most definitely is. Some of our top gainers in DeFi is CRV, up 10%, TLOS up 8%, EFI up 5.95%. Heading on over to that me market, we do have a market cap of 40.5 billion. Trading volume like the DeFi is up huge 40% to 5.6 billion. Some of our top gainers are Pepe Coin up 8.69%. Milady, a meme coin up 8% and Boink up 9.55%. So overall, market's doing pretty good. Trading volume up huge. Market cap kind of just staying steady all week. So not terribly bad. Overall, the market is really red. Hopefully, next week's episode, we're going to have a lot more green in our future. But of course, we will see how this, week's, this week goes. But that's going to do it for this video. And until next time, trade safe.